Hey everybody, it's Caitlin, and I just wanted to make a quick video. I'm at work, and I just got like probably five minutes to do this video, and um, really what I wanted to do this video for is my um, my previous video that I posted here on YouTube. Um, it's it's something that I did out of the blue, like I always normally do, but um. This is something that has really touched my heart in so many ways. There's a song that has come out called Battle Scars. And I can't think of who sings it. But uh, it's one of my one of my all-time favorite um, songs now. But um, what it really, it, it touched me in more, than, more ways than one. And that's, I used to be suicidal. And... Um, my previous video explains just a little bit of, of why I was suicidal. I was 14 months old when my mother died and I, um, I blamed myself for so long. And, um, when I was, first of all, I became suicidal when I was 14 years old and but like I said my mother died when I was 14 months old and I became suicidal when I was 14 years old and also I got taken away from my father when I was seven years old because he just thought drugs and alcohol was more important than his own daughter who was only seven years old um, and then, you know, I just, I just felt like I couldn't find my place here on earth. I mean, I was being bullied in school. You know, I, I would see all my friends with their, their fathers and their mothers. And, and every day, every day I think, how would my life be or could have been with my both of my parents in my life in my life for so long I questioned my faith in God because it seemed like everything that I was supposed to have in my life and and everything that I love was just being taken away you know I'm trying not to cry because this is just it, it's so emotional oh and um when I was 16 years old I met the love of my life he, he he came right when I needed him because I was just about to give up on life and he, he showed me that there's a whole bigger brighter world and I shouldn't give up on life that easily well, when I was 17 years old, I got pregnant. And I felt so incredibly happy. It's just like I would finally have something that I can love unconditionally. And I know they can love me unconditionally. No questions asked. Well, I actually miscarried our daughter. Once again, I question my faith in God. My fiance, the guy I've been with since I was 16 years old, we've been together for seven years. He's like, you should never question your faith in God. And I would say when I hit about, I was probably about 20, 21, when I just, I just threw my hands up and I, I bowed down on my knees and I just praised God and I'm like, I can't keep going through this and it's just like, although all these bad things have happened to me through my life there have been a lot of good 
I quit school in the ninth grade because I had no motivation. I had no reason. I'm just like, well, everything's been taken away from me in my life and I'm going to just go ahead and take this away before it gets taken away from me. Well, last year, um, in November, at November 8th of 2013, I finally got my GED. It's the best feeling in the world to know that you have actually accomplished something in life. And now that I've got it, it's like, now that I've got my GED, it's like, I, I can't think of the word, but it's like, I know this cannot be taken away from me. It's something that I work so hard toward. Oh, let me, let me go get a nap. But, but like I said, it's like something that I work so hard towards and I finally got it. Now I'm in college, um, but just the, just the feeling of actually accomplishing something that I actually gave up on a, whole, a long time ago to actually accomplish it years down the road, it's like God had been there all along and it's just, oh my God, I can't believe I'm crying like this. But um, what I'm saying is, I have come a long way. I just wanted to show y'all. I actually do. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I actually do have battle battle scars. I don't know if y'all can see them. It's probably too light. But I actually have battle scars of my own, and when that song. When I heard that song, it's just like, oh my God, this song is so perfect for me. But what I'm trying to say is, never give up on life. Never give up on God. Now, you might feel like you are giving up on God. And yes, you might even give up on God like I had. But he don't care. He's going to be with you regardless if you want him in your life or not. I have a sister who don't believe in God. And then I have a sister who's a strong believer in God. And that, that my, the sister that I have that believes in God tells the one who don't believe in God... That he, he's with her because she's came close to death so many times. So many times. But I want this five minute video actually turned out to be almost ten minutes long. But like I said, don't give up on God because he never gives up on you. And even if you do give up on him, he still got you whether you like it or not. God is amazing and I never thought in a million years I would be where I am today and it's all because of God God put my fiance in my life for a reason God has taken away things and given me given me things in my life because he wanted me to be a strong woman and that's what I am today. So, if you're being if, bullied, or if you're if you're being uh, if or if you're suicidal or you're depressed, now don't get me wrong. I still go through depression like there's nobody's business, like it's nobody's business. But I don't have them suicidal thoughts no more. Like I just don't want to be here no more. But, um, but if you do go through them sort of things, please get help. Please, please seek professional help because it does help. 
Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.